So hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out on my own. I'm charging around for a change. That's what I want to talk to you about today, is speed. Um, my lack of it at the moment. I used to be reasonably fast, but dollying around making videos and going on adventure rides, just enjoying the scenery. I've got a bit slow. We seem to be overtaking me and I can't seem to keep up anymore. Um, the average speed's plummeted on my rides, but um, I'm having a lot more fun. So I want to talk about the fine balance of speed and enjoying your cycling. Say what you want, say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. Yeah, the sun's out and it's too good to stay indoors, so I'm out having a smash fest for a change. Try and get some fitness back. Say what you want, say what you want, say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. So when I say I used to be fast, I had a notification from Strava the other day with my uh, lifetime stats on it. Now that I've had 159 KOMs, I've now probably got about half of that, I expect about 80. Some of them are still standing the test of time, mostly on sprints. I used to ride just a load on my own. I used to just go out and ride as fast as I can, head down, suffer, and see how many KOMs I could get or see what my average speed was. And I got fed up of it, to be honest, really really wanted some company on rides and it was at that point then that I really started to enjoy just exploring talking to people a completely different side of cycling I should say I had a an eye-opening moment when I went to Mallorca on holiday with the club I was just watching all these people who've gone for their Years holiday they spent a fortune for. And they were just charging around, heads down, looking at the stem, trying to get times and PBs up these climbs. And they were just cycling past some of them, some of the greatest views. And I just said, what are you doing? You can do that anytime. k in <laughs> i just haven't got the stamina anymore although i should point out as a disclaimer i did go to mallorca and i did charge up sacalabra but i was feeling uh pretty good that day it was a 100 mile ride and it was banging in the middle at 50 miles um and i managed to do under 40 minutes so i did enjoy the views going down so i can't say uh i remember looking at them coming up but that was uh, an epic climb that you just have to have a pop at strava koms don't really mean anything uh at the end of the day because a lot of it's done with tailwind. Um, so it's whoever's fastest with a tailwind and anybody can go fast with a tailwind. The only ones that really count are the, the uphill climbs. And as you can see, I'm not really a climber. Do you like racing one-on-one -on -one when you can outwit somebody and take them on and the little sprints for the bridges? I do like that. And that's more of a race to me than a Strava KOM. So as I said in a couple of videos ago, the Strava's there, the easy com, easy go. Um, yeah, I shan't be fighting from back anyway. It's all that fine balance though, because I'm not as fast as I used to be and I'm not winning the sprints. And I used to really win the sprints. So I need to get fitter to win the sprints, but still be able to enjoy my adventure rides by plodding along. And I've done too much plodding along. I've probably not really done any fitness work since I was training to go to Mallorca, because uh, I wanted to enjoy it. And it's, it's certainly coming uh, to bite me on the backside now, because I certainly can't get up the climbs as I used to. I was looking at uh, some of the times I had on some of the climbs the other day and I don't even know how I went that fast, to be honest. Um, me and Pete were looking at the Toro Wessex um, stage three ride I did, the day three ride, uh, around the area that we were in. And I was averaging 29K an hour on uh, a three and a half thousand metre climbing day. And like, we were barely struggling to do 22 kilometres an hour that day. <laughs> and we'd, we did 1500 metres of climbing. So, yeah. There's a fine balance between speed and enjoying your bike riding. And if you're not enjoying your bike riding because all you're doing is training, get your head up and have a look around because it really is worth going out and doing some adventures and finding that love for cycling. Because that's what it's all about. And I certainly enjoy my cycling and cycling with people rather more than I used to charging around getting fit. As fast as I was, it's not as enjoyable as it is going out adventure riding. <laughs> Yeah, 
very nearly today, decided to have a look see what the local legends were. And Ham Hill I would have needed to have done nine times to become the local legend. I had a think for about two seconds and thought no. <laughs> The, uh, the new Strava local legends seem to be very heavily weighted to uh, commuters, uh, so I've got to work on their bikes. But a shout out to Robin Radford, who managed to get the local legend up the East Torrington climb, which is uh, a bit of a gnarly climb at times, but he seems to love that one. So well done, Robin. Well, there you have it, it's confirmed 59 kilometers at 27 kilometers an hour with best part of 400 meters of climbing. That's nothing like what I used to be. My legs hurt. It's the first bit of proper training I've done in a long time and it's all because Pete keeps dropping me on the climbs and I need to get quicker. <laughs> I have fanning around doing a bit of filming so there's a little bit in there but not great. Anyway, let me know what you think of Strava Legends. I know it's heavily weighted towards commuters um, but certainly on the climbs, I think that might be a little bit of kudos in there for you. It also let me know what you think of Strava. Is, is it a motivation for you? I mean, it's just my opinion of, of uh, how I enjoy my riding. How do you enjoy your riding? Do you like going fast? Do you like going for the comms? Do you like racing people? Or do you just like exploring? Um, what kind of rider are you? Just put that down in the comments. I'd love to see those all later. But anyway, thank you for watching. We are back Sunday with a ride to Nunny. I hope Pete is doing his uh, bikepacking vlog. Um, I'm excited for that one, so I hope you are too. But anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.